right, good morning everybody. Um, I'm Jamie, the animal care manager here at Potawatomi Zoo, and I'm with Gretchen, our carnivore keeper today. And we are doing a little different video with you today with an animal that typically you don't get to see very much of when you're here at the zoo. So I'll let Gretchen tell you a little bit about our red foxes. So we have two red foxes, Fred and Adeline. And both of our foxes are actually from the wild. Fred is a re from a rescue. Fred had a, a terrible leg injury that needed surgery. So he was rescued. He wouldn't have survived on his own. He had surgery and then he came to live with us. And then Adeline actually, she was living in someone's home. She was taken from the wild illegally and then was taken from the home to come here because you shouldn't have a pet red fox at your home. <laughs> Adeline has a big personality. Um, she's very friendly with us, keepers that she really knows. Um, but Fred is a little more shy and you'll kind of notice those two different personalities. But um, as companions with each other, they really work well and bring out the best in each other. So they've been a perfect pair. They are spayed and neutered so that we're not going to be having baby red foxes because there is no need for them. They are not endangered. So we're not going to be making more babies. Yeah, so like Gretchen said, they are rehab animals and um, it's just so important for us to have animals like this that we can take in that wouldn't survive in the wild um, from a rehab situation and they are a native species so they serve as a great ambassador for their species to um, teach everybody about some animals that live around that could be around their neighborhoods. A lot of times you guys won't see them very well when you first walk up on the exhibit, but Fred is usually located at the top of the rocks. That's kind of his favorite hiding spot. Um, he'll sleep there during the day. In the afternoon when the sun comes out, he likes to come lay down here and bask in the sun. If it's a very busy day, they do kind of keep to themselves in their, in their special spots. Adeline likes to lay in either corner, so you gotta look for her there when you're here. But um, they actually, they are kind of mimicking what they would do in the wild. In the wild, they are nocturnal or what is called crepuscular, and that means they're active at dusk and dawn. So during the day, they would be sleeping. So that's kind of what they do here. These guys, um, their diet here has raw meat, the same meat that we give all of our big cats. And then they also get rats twice a week and they get a crunchy chow that has a lot of extra like supplements and stuff in it. They actually get a couple peanuts every day. They enjoy dog and cat treats. They like hard boiled eggs. So they do get a big variety, just like in the wild, they would be eating everything they come across. They would eat fish and birds and mammals and reptiles, anything they, that they find. They'll even clean up some dead animals that they find. The way to tell them apart is Fred is the bigger and darker one. Um, and they are full grown now, so he's just always going to be the bigger one. At first we thought maybe Adeline would catch up to him, but she is smaller and lighter. So that's one thing for you to look for with them. Adeline's birthday is actually in two days. Um, she will be two years old and Fred is um, five years old. So they, they're a couple years difference in age, but um, we're excited about Addie's birthday coming up. And we just want to thank you so much again for all of your support during this time. And we love getting to show you some things that you don't normally get to see when you are visiting the zoo. Um, and it's a way for us to stay connected with you guys. And we hope that you're enjoying them as much as we are enjoying doing them for you. Hopefully we see you soon in person. Thank you. Hey, baby. Adam, come on. Come on. Where are you? 